deadly plants? Different animals. What are carnivorous plants? Carnivorous or deadly rare plants are special types of plants that trap, kill, and digest animals, usually insects, to absorb nutrients. They evolved in nutrient-poor environments like swamps and bogs, where the soil lacks essential minerals like nitrogen. Why do they eat animals? These plants rely on animals, mostly insects, for nitrogen, essential for leaf and stem growth, phosphorus, important for flowers and reproduction, potassium, magnesium, for photosynthesis and energy. They don't eat animals for energy like true predators. They still make their own food using sunlight through photosynthesis, just like normal plants. Main types of carnivorous plants and how they feed. A. Venus flytrap. Dionya muscipula. Trap type. Snap trap. Feeding style. Leaf snaps shut when prey touches tiny trigger hairs inside. Feeding response. Closes in 0.1 second. Digests insect over 5-10 days. Best food. Flies, ants, small beetles. Not safe. Large animals like frogs or meat. They will rot. B. Pitcher plants, Nepenthes, Saracenia, Heliumphora. Trap type, pitfall trap. Feeding style, insects fall into a tube of digestive liquid and drown. Famous example, Nepenthes raja can trap rats and frogs. Best food, flies, crickets, spiders, special cases, can digest small frogs, baby mice, naturally in the wild. C. Sundew, Drosera. Trap type, sticky tentacles. Feeding style, tentacles secrete glue that traps insects, then curl around them. Best food, fruit flies, mosquitoes, gnats. D, bladderwort, utricularia. Trap type, suction trap underwater. Feeding style, traps tiny aquatic animals in milliseconds. Best food, water fleas, insect larvae. What can you feed them? Most carnivorous plants naturally feed on flies, mosquitoes, spiders, ants, beetles. In captivity, people have experimented feeding mealworms, crickets, raw meat, not recommended often, frogs or lizards, very rare cases, only large pitcher plants like Nepenthes raja. Dangers of feeding wrong animals. Rotting food attracts fungus and bacteria. Mold or decay can kill the trap or the whole plant. Feeding too often stresses the plant. Large prey that can't be fully digested causes the trap to die. Onalita impultenta. How often should you feed them? Venus flytrap, once every one to two weeks, one bug only. Pitcher plants, can handle more frequent or larger meals. Sundew, small prey every few days is fine. Bladderwort, constant feeding underwater by itself how they digest the animal. After trapping the animal, the plant releases digestive enzymes, like proteases. These break down the soft tissues of the animal. The plant absorbs the liquid nutrients. Remaining insect shells are either washed away or stay in the trap. Real life example. In the wild, some Nepenthes pitcher plants in Southeast Asia are so large they naturally digest. Lizards, tree frogs, even small rats rarely. These are natural slow events, not daily feeding. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Live with Creatures. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. See you in the next video.